Well, hi there, it's Brooke, and today I have my summer cheer trays that I'm gonna be using in my house for you. So I created one for the kitchen using my big Amazon tray that I always do, and then the one I'm using for my living room upstairs is just my circle Hobby Lobby tray with the same size. The brown, we'll just say the brown wood Hobby Lobby tray. I did create this one in that a more tiered trays video where I created three trays using the wood Hobby Lobby tray. And I just liked it so much that I decided that that's kind of going to be the theme for my living room upstairs. So I'll just show you that one, but we won't like put it together or anything because I've already done that. And then I'll link that video down below. And then the third and final one is going to be a little target tier tray that I created for downstairs in our family room. And I kind of went with a lemon theme down there so then that tray is lemon themed it's kind of similar to a few of the trays I've done with the lemons but I think a little different and then I did not create a tiered tray for my coffee bar I am just going to use my black like basket that fills it up and just put some greenery on there and I'm going to use my yum sign and stuff like that which I do have my summer decorate with me video coming out here I just got to finish the upstairs and things like that so you'll see this first and then you'll see how I use my trays in my home so let's get to tiered tray. So this is the tray that I designed for upstairs. When I first was designing this tray, I just remember thinking I want to use a lot of terracotta pots. I don't know if I saw it somewhere. I know I've seen it variation somewhere but not this particular way so I just filled my top with terracotta pots went through my greenery picked out what worked best decided to use my garden theme I might switch that to maybe like the grow or something but I'll probably I'll probably just leave it as the garden theme because it's just cute and then kind of do like a more greenery and gardeny terracotta pots upstairs and like my dough bowl and stuff and so then I just wanted to incorporate some of this greenery down on the bottom so that's what I did and added my my cute little thrifted shovel and then there's my garden tier tray like I said I'll link that video down below that explains more but I just wanted to show you it since this is a video showcasing the trays I'll use in my home Okay, so this is going to be my kitchen tray and as I've been making all those food trays over the course of the summer and using all my fun food items, I kind of want to do them all in one tray and I think I had talked about that in one of my other videos. So I just gathered all my food items and just started playing around. Now the bottom isn't perfect so you'll have to let me know what you think like any changes or additions or movements that maybe I could make to just make it a little better. So let's do the top first because that's what I finished first and so the first thing on the top I really wanted to put one of my little drinks. I either had the lemonade or the cherry coke and since I was doing lemons in the basement I decided to use my cherry coke for the upstairs tray. You'll see if I use my lemonade or my, my lemon tea I guess on the tray for downstairs. So that's what I started with and then I knew I wanted to put my little donuts that I have, my faux donuts, on one of these pedestals again and I just thought that fit right there to the bed. And then I decided I needed some filler so I thought just this blue big mason jar would look nice. So I was playing around with using this little s'mores guy and using my marshmallows in their cloche and I just didn't really like that so I decided just to grab a couple of these little Ikea bowls and make sure we can see like my cherry coke and my donuts over here and then I just added this little s'mores guy right into the bowl I don't have anything underneath him I just kind of set him right in there since there is pink on the donuts I just decided to use this pink little jar lantern thing I got this at the Goodwill I want to say these are from Hobby Lobby at one point in time this is thrifted too the ball jar so there is my top and I was very satisfied with my top I did put my little cherry on a wood slice or my cherry coke just to elevate it a little bit so then down on the bottom I struggled so I kind of knew that I wanted to use like another blue jar so I just grabbed this big coke one that I got on clearance at home goods and kind of put it opposite the other one so like I wouldn't have all blue on one side and then I started with my other item and one of the other items I really wanted to use was this donut mug that I picked up in the dollar spot so I just kind of set that over here on the edge and then I decided to grab a sign I just wanted to use my family 
family sign. I thought that was pretty generic because usually, you know, you're having your treats with your family or your family of friends or your family of co-workers or something fun like that. So I just kind of centered, not center. I set that offset over here on this side. And then I had put my cookies on a riser like the donuts, but I really didn't like it. So then I grabbed this basket again, which I swear I put them in this basket before and kind of set that here. And then I still had my ice cream treats that I wanted to use. So I thought maybe to put those kind of here offset and then to add in kind of to go with the donuts, to go with the ice cream, my little sprinkle rolling pin I thought would look good. I did grab another filler piece for the bottom and I just kind of set that back here behind the sign. I kept trying to add like the marshmallows down here and just things to kind of fill up this bottom. What I eventually decided on was just this little doily that I have just to add a little bit more texture and to maybe kind of ground the cookies so they're not blending in so much with the wood. And I made this um, rolling pin. It's just paper taped onto one of the Hobby Lobby rolling pins and it's Hobby Lobby paper. I swear this was, okay, maybe we'll set it over there like that. So I still felt it was like a little empty, but the doily kind of helped. And I wanted to put something in this donut cup. I just thought it looked funny empty. I thought about straws, but then with this straw up here, I thought that would be like too straw-y on the side. You know how I love to add greenery to things? So I just grabbed a couple of these succulent picks from Hobby Lobby that I have and I just thought the colors went well and they just fit in there nice and they didn't like overpower anything. So then since I used those over there, I did, I do have three of them. So I grabbed one and kind of filled it in over here just to add a little pop of greenery and texture. And then I also grabbed this little leaf greenery that I've been using and put some over there. And I also put some here. I kind of thought about putting something there, but then it was just like a little bit in your face. So I thought it balanced better over here. So so there is my full-on sweets and treats kitchen tray. I really do like everything that's on there. My only thing is that like the top was too heavy, the bottom was too sparse. I didn't know what else to add to it. I have another littler one like this that's more of a navy blue, which I thought would work with like, cause there's other blues in there. I didn't have, you know, like a set color scheme. I was kind of just adding all sorts of colors, just making it fun and summery. But I don't know where I would put that. It didn't really go with the food cause I really wanted to showcase like the treats and everything. I couldn't figure out where to put my three marshmallows where they would look cute. So I just kept the little s'mores guy. I thought that would just be fun. I didn't use any of my little signs because they were all so little and mix and matchy that I just stuck with like a, just a very neutral family sign. So let me know what you think on this tray. If there's anything I can add or if I'm just being too picky and it looks good. On to the next one. So if we're downstairs in the family room on my little end table where I always have a target to your tray. Like I said, we, I did a lemon theme down there. So I just decided this would look best with the other lemons down there. And I kind of had ideas in mind from the other lemon trays that I have done on how to decorate this one. So my first thing I wanted to start with, of course, was my lemon tea. And I seem to be like sticking this off to the side on my little box, but that's where we're gonna keep sticking it. And then I went back and forth with my little black and white checked. I think these are technically called ramekins. I don't know if I wanted them on the bottom or the top and I ultimately decided to put them on the top and then I did I believe I did a tray with one on put the lemon up here and I really like that so I'm gonna do that again and then to fill out the top I just grabbed my little yellow bucket put one of my white flowers in there and said voila there's my super simple little lemon and then down on the bottom I just grabbed this container I thought it looked best with all the other colors it's just a little olive bucket from Hobby Lobby and then once again I grabbed my little lemon sign that I thought I lost <laughs> So I couldn't find it. And then I just used the other half lemon that I have from the Target dollar spot and just kept it super simple also down on the bottom. So it just highlights my few of my favorite lemon items and just adds a little pop and color to the basement, but I just kept it super simple. Mm -hmm. 
So a short and sweet and simple tier tray video for you today. I hope you enjoyed my full on sweets and treats kitchen tray and my little lemon tray. I know we've done a lot of those this summer, but the lemon theme is just so fun and it's just so fun and bright down in my living room. I'm so excited to show you. And then I just fell in love with that garden tray. So I just had to use it and I need to go decorate upstairs. <laughs> So you can see that next and cause I'm just ready for some green, lush, fun greenery in there. And as always, please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.